This tailgate season, sand, canvas, and wood collide as it does every year in the coveted backyard game, Cornhole. But now, some 412 players are taking it off the grass to under the bright lights of the pro arena. We talked to a Cornhole pro about Pittsburgh's love for the game, and he has some tips to take to tomorrow's tailgate. I played high school basketball, I played college basketball. At 48, I'm more passionate about cornhole than I ever was about high school or college athletics. Keith Perry is the only professionally signed cornhole player in the 412. He recently had an opportunity to compete for a contract at the World Championships and was successful placing 18 out of 256 people. He now travels as an American Cornhole League pro and has been winning tournament after tournament. It's been a wild ride. I'm loving it. I'm having the best time of my life. Recently, Keith's eye has moved from that six inch hole 27 feet away to the emerging talent popping up right next to him here at Steel City Cornhole in Irwin. I'm really looking forward to not only growing my game, but pulling all these folks along with me. This season, we have a number of people traveling to the World Championships to compete for a pro contract. I'm confident for next season we're going to have twice as many pros that we do for this year. It's really picking up fast now, especially with all the TV coverage we're getting on ESPN, through the ACL, and people that never heard of the game, everybody knows about it now. And now we're running tournaments everywhere. I got tournaments booked up for the rest of the year. Think about our sports teams, right? I mean, our city, we're, we're competitive. We want to win. The talent is here. As you approach the board, you really have to, to have a clear mind. You know, there's other things happen around you. So that's probably the first key of just feeling comfortable. If you're not comfortable, it creates inconsistencies in your throw. And just like with anything, you have to have good footing. So as I approach the board, I always lead with my, my right foot forward. Uh, my left foot is probably a foot and a half behind. The second part is a bad grip. You know, I watch a lot of the tailgaters, backyard players, they'll just hold it by the tip of the bag and they'll just kind of flip it. Well, you have to hold on to the bag with half of the beads in your hand, thumb up top, and then you lock your elbow. You lock that elbow on your side, it's just like a pendulum, it just swings comes forward and at the very end it's just a little twist that allow the bag to have that good flight stay flat and you know hopefully it's going in the hole more often than, than not you come out you have a good time you have some fun you eat some food you have a couple of beers and you maybe you win a couple bucks but all in all the bottom line is when people go home i want to hear that they had a good time Pittsburgh is starting to get on fire for cornhole, as you can see. Very soon, Pittsburgh will be the number one place to play cornhole.